In a major breakthrough, security forces have arrested a senior NSCN cadre for his alleged involvement in the daring ambush near Khonsa in Arunachal Pradesh on May 21 that killed local NPP MLA Tirong Abo, his son and nine others. We have this report. Big breakthrough for the security forces after almost two months of search operations, finally the security forces have apprehended a senior NSC and Kada from Nagaland who is allegedly involved in the assassination of Konsa West MLA Tirong Abo. The NSCNK Kader Anok Wangsu hails from Longding district in Arunachal Pradesh. As per reports, Wangsu and his son were actively involved in the assassination of NPP MLA Tirong Abo. A pall of gloom descended in Khonsa on May 21st. 42-year-old Arunachal NPP MLA Tirong Abo was shot dead along with his son, family members and others near Bogapani while they were returning from Dibrugar. Among the deceased was Abo's 20-year-old son Longem Abo who was pursuing graduation in Bangalore and had come home for a holiday. What's also tragic is the fact that Longbem was driving his dad's SUV that they had bought just a day before. Just to remind our viewers, your channel Northeast Live was the only channel that went to the very spot where the gruesome incident took place barely 36 hours before the declaration of results for both Lok Sabha and Assembly elections in Arunachal Pradesh. Meanwhile, after large-scale protest, the Arunachal Pradesh government handed over the case to the National Investigation Agency, which is currently investigating the gruesome incident. The arrest of the NSCNK Kada is expected to throw enough light on the incident. Bureau Report, Northeast Live. An army official soon after the arrest of the rebel briefing news person said that a joint operation was carried out by the Indian Army, Assam Rifles and Assam Police based on specific inputs. Not only this, the Indian Army has uh, clearly said that that NSCNIM, which is currently in peace talks with the government of India, is involved in complete violation of ceasefire ground rules. The army also said that NSCNIM has targeted businessmen, traders and contractors for the purpose of extortion. The startling disclosure by the Indian army has raised many questions as to how cadres of a rebel group which is in ceasefire can have a free run in extorting money besides other subversive activities. In the conduct of a highly successful surgical operation, Operation Namsa, in apprehension, of the NSN I am area commander of Longdeng, Chiraide and more regions. Based on specific information, a joint operation of the Indian Army, Assam Rifles and Assam Police was carried out yesterday, resulting in the apprehension of self-styled Major Anok Bangsa, area commander, NSN I am. The apprehended individual is the deputy of the self-styled Major General Epsilon Tankur NSCN IM, who is believed to be involved in the killing of MLA, Mr. Tirong Abo. Anok has been constantly threatening the local population and demanding money from them, exposing the total contempt of the ceasefire ground rules that NSCN IM has. The local population has borne the brunt of the behavior of NSCN IM. They caught us in the total contempt of Ceasefire ground rules are moving around outside their designated camp, intimidating businesses, traders, contractors, and continue to collect unauthorized money for personal gains of few. The group has also 
attempted to disturb peace in the neighboring district of Assam and Arunachal Pradesh.